most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schwab, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of Congratulations, course. Congratulations, Brad. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> today, Brad, we're going to talk about IT band syndrome, iliotibial band syndrome. Uh, and we're going to show you the exercises and stretches, and we're going to even show you a test to see whether or not you might have a tight IT band. Right. But generally, what this uh, refers to is knee pain on the outside of your knee. By outside, I mean this yep. way. We call it the right. lateral side. Mm -hmm. By the way, Brad, I just saw some new people out there that there just joined are. us. Yeah, sure. If you're new to our <laughs> channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We have a subscribe button here on the left side of Brad, your right side. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, and pain-free, and we upload every day. Excellent. All right, let's talk about IT band syndrome, Brad, and how, why, it, why it occurs and what, what we're trying to do with it. You need to understand this. All right. So we've got Leopold here, and we've got a wonderful... Uh, Bonaparte. Oh, Bonaparte, yeah. yeah. And uh, this is a, just a really nice anatomical model here, I think. Bob. Right. We, what you have around your whole thigh here is a, what we call the fascia lata. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's made out of a tough fibrous ligament type material, mm -hmm. right, Brad? Right. You know, and I, I, from school, I still don't remember that it goes around the whole leg, but you just refreshed your. Yeah, your, it's your very homework. thin. It's very thin um, on most parts of the thigh, but as it gets to the outside of the thigh, it's very thick. Okay. It's a very thick ligament. And that's the IT band, iliotibial tract or right. ligament. So we got the ilium here and we got the tibial. So it connects the two pieces of anatomy. That's yeah. how it gets its name. There's two muscles that attach into that band for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, one's the glute max, you know, so your butt muscle, right, basically. That large muscle there. And then there's the tensor fascia lata. That's how <laughs> we like always that? had to say it in school, you, tensor fascia lata. You like that. Huh? I like that, yeah. <laughs> So when, the reason that's important is because when you, I don't know that you can stretch this band that well. It's very tight. Right. It, it's very thick. Right. It, it's a ligament. It's wide. And it's, I mean, right, it's tough. It's a very tough piece so of anatomy. So we want to stretch the muscles that go into the ligament. So, sure. we'll, um, so by stretching the band, I think you're stretching the muscles. So we'll do stretches, but we're also going to show you some things that are specific toward the muscles. Sure. The reason why this band gives you trouble on the outside of your knee. So it comes down, attaches into the tibia here, Gertie's tubercle, yep. Brad. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, as it crosses over the outside of the bone here, it can rub against that. So you see that? Right here, there's a, per, a, a bump or tuberance, they call it, on the outer bone of the... Uh, femur, the, the condyle, and it only gets, what did you say, past 30 degrees? Right. At 30 degrees, it's right on the top of it. Okay. So when you go past 30 degrees, it's going to be behind it. It slides over it. Yep. And when it when you go less than 30 degrees, it's going to be in front of it. Right. So you can see right there, it's kind of getting hung up, but when you straighten it out, it goes past it and you have less pressure. So right. I can see where if you're a runner, you have continual, you're, yep. you're, you're crossing that 30 degree mark repetitively. And that's why they get this problem. It's big in runners. It's, it's big in any sport where you have a lot of flexion extension going on, which mm -hmm. biking would be the other one, sure. Brad. Very yep. common in bikers. Um, if you are going up hills a lot, or possibly, Brad, if you're a skier, too. Sure. Um, right. A lot of flexion extension going yeah. on. So you're, we're going to want to make sure that this, you know, if, if this band is tight, really pull on, it's going to rub against that sure. more, more than anything else. Mm -hmm. So. So we'll talk about some other things that you can do besides stretching at the end of the video, but let's start showing the stretches, sure. Brad. So, um, you know what? The first one I think we should show, Brad. I yep. think we should show that where you can use a tennis ball oh, or yeah. a cross ball. Yep. And you want to show this? Sure. Just tensor fascia lata and also oh, on the glutes. We just called it the TFL box. All right. We couldn't pronounce that big <laughs> word. Okay. Uh, I like a tennis ball because a cross ball is a little aggressive. But you can use a lacrosse ball, and it's easy to see because we've got a nice bright yellow one here. I'm going to start on that TFL. It's more towards the front. Right. So I'm going to face more down, and you may not be able to see it in there, but you know when you're on that muscle, whoa, and you're just going to work. You can work right to left, forward to backwards, up and down, and you'll do this for 30 seconds, a minute, depending on how long you can tolerate it. Now I'm going to go to the glute max and now you're going to shift and just about that. 45 degrees there. And you're going to work it way up towards the belt line because that glute muscle does goes all the way up there. All the way up to that ilium or the pelvis muscle, that wide paddle-like muscle. 
Yeah, and it may seem a little strange to people that you're working up here in order to stop a problem down here, but it's exactly. part of, it's part yeah, of the whole connected. chain. Yep, exactly right, Bob. So Can I stop now, Bob? Yes, you may stop. All right, <laughs> All right I will now show the wall stretch. Lonnie, if you want to, if you can catch me over here. So I'm going to stretch this side. Yep. And very simple, you can do this a couple of ways. One, you can just put the elbow to the side here, and then I'm just going to lean the pelvis over this way. Sure. Like this. And can you see how I'm stretching that? Band? Right. So we got connected here. It wraps up around here, and he does it. It, it stretches. Just, just as you can see it stretching his pants, it stretches the tissues in there. Right. And what I like to do better, even Brad, is to do it this way. Cross over yeah. like this and go like this. Now I can really stretch it. Right. And I that gives really... you a little more balance, too, I think. Right. Exactly. Yep. Good. 30 second stretches, you know, works out really well. All right, I'm gonna show one on the bed here now, Brad. Um, that's a plinth. Well, not to them, they don't, <laughs> they don't know that, that. That table. Again, because we're trying to stretch the tensor fascia a lot a little bit, which is, does serve as a flexor, Brad, you can lay on your side like this, grab your ankle and pull back like this. Okay, so and, here we're, we're getting things stretched more in the front. Right, and it's stretching the quad obviously too, but yep. It, it also will um, stretch the tensor fascia a lot sure. a little bit. So, um, how about a overstretch uh, yeah. over the bed? There you go. So, on this one, I'm going to stretch this side now, this side here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up like this, Brad, and I'm going to anchor the lot of blow in like that, and I let it hang down like that. So you need to get close to the edge of the bed and let that leg cross. And you'll feel it, it stretch right up in here. This one is, can be a little uncomfortable, so you just you know, use your judgment. And as you can see, Brad, I don't think mine is very tight, although my, my pelvis is, is collapsing down, so it's really hard to tell whether or not it's, sure. it's tight or not. Um, another one, Brad, you can hook this foot behind the knee. I'm going to stretch this side, and you're going to bring it over like this and kind of pull over like this. Okay. Again, now we're getting that glute. Again, more, but a little bit of the IT band too. Sure. Yep. Yeah. So again, you got a hook there, and yeah. it's hard to see it in, in the camera, but that's what he's doing, pulling over here, and you're trying to keep your. Oh, that really does pull. Yeah. You get a little. Hello. Oh, wow. There. All right. One I do, Brad. I don't know if you ever do this one, where you put the cross like this and you lift up like this. Oh, the old figure four. I do yeah. like this one. So I'll do it on the other side. You can just cross your leg over. I'm pulling up on the opposite leg. And it's stretching on this one right here. Take your time with this one. It should not hurt. It should just be a stretch feel. All right. And then you can do also a prone stretch this way, Brad. Or you can do a prone quad stretch where you go like this. Oh, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Again, getting more of that tensor fascia a lot on, on that one. Sure. Yep. So, uh, Brad, I want to show the, uh, the over test so we can tell whether or not your, your tensor fascia a lot of... I mean, your uh, IT band is tight. Sure. I, I want to pull this out so I can be on the other oh, side. Oh, yeah, let's do that. So. All right, Bob, tell me what to do. Why don't you lay towards, facing toward me. Supine? Yep. No, on your, uh, there you go, that side. There we side? Go. Yep, <laughs> sideline. We call that sideline, Bob. So we're testing the, the IT band on this side. Sure. So. There's two ways people do it. Um, they call it. One's called the Ober test and one's called the modified uh, position. Mm -hmm. So you're going to bring it up and you're bringing it up into extension a little bit here. And while I'm in extension here, I'm going to hold on to the pelvis here, Brad. You're going to stabilize it? Yep, yeah, I'm going to stabilize the pelvis because if I let the pelvis go, it's just going to collapse down and it's going to go all the way down to the... Right, so you're not, you're not isolating. Right, so I'm holding this on and now I lower it down and we'll see if Brad... No, keep, let's keep it bent, Brad. Bent, okay. Yep. And does yours go any further? Well, if I relax. So Brad's is, is actually, that would be a negative because, it, in other words, it's, it's not tight. Because my knee's going down? Right. And I think a lot of times you'll test both sides and compare one to exactly. the other. Mm -hmm. So again, sometimes people bring it forward a little bit and then up into abduction, a little bit of extension. Now, they also do it, what they call the modified test, where they keep the knee extended, Brad. Straighten the leg. Yeah, straighten the leg. Mm -hmm. Don't let the foot turn down, because um, that would throw it off. Sure. So you're going to go ahead and just bring it back like this, and now you're going to lower it down. I'm going to hold the pelvis. Again, Brad's just not tight. Sure. Yeah, you're disappointing me, Brad. I was yeah, hoping to find a tight muscle. You usually have tight muscles, Bob, but so. not, not in that area. But, you know, that's one of those things that probably you're going to, a therapist is going to do, you're not going to do at home by yourself because 
you got to understand. You got to put your hands on pro proper landmarks and whatnot. All right. Other things you can try, Brad, is you can try icing. You know, right here before mm. and after treat, or before and after running, where that that IT band's going over that bone and right. creating that tender spot. Um, you're going to want to, you know, if you're running, you really should stop, ideally. I, I know that that's yeah. almost impossible yeah, to tell Yeah, for runners, people. that's not an option, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, ideally, you know, it often happens after you've increased your distance or sure. maybe you started doing hills. So stop running on hills. Also, you don't want to run on pitched surfaces, Brad. Right. Like, it often comes from a track, running on track. Sure. Um, but also, just n normal roads have that r rain that, runoff. That crown, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you want to, if you go down one side, you want to come down the same side so you're evening it out, basically. Right. Because if you're always on the same side of the road... That's that, probably, the outside leg is probably one that's going to be irritated. If you have one leg that's longer than the other, uh, that's a correction. And, you, you know, you're going to have to have someone determine that for you. You may want to have that corrected by putting a little heel wedge in the shorter right, side because right. that, that also will, will play into it. Um, you can also take um, oral NSAIDs, in other words, an anti-inflammatory. Ibuprofen, yeah, that help, type of thing. To try to help calm things down. So um, softer running shoes, uh, avoid running downhill. Sure. Or on hills, basically. Um, we'll also Although you just keep running up and up and up. How would you get home? <laughs> Just kidding. It's that time of the these video. Are, these are the things I got to put up with. So, all right, Brad, remember we can fix just about anything. <laughs> oh, except for that broken heart. Yeah. But we're working on yeah, that. We got that video coming out, don't broken we? Broken brain, too. We can't <laughs> fix that either. Thanks. Well, we yeah, can, we have a video coming out. <laughs>